Welcome to our channel Planner Tips. In this tutorial, you will learn that how we can create this beautiful fluid simulation in Blender by using fluid physics properties and rigid body properties. And uh, you can see that the ice cubes are nicely collide with fluid to create this water splash animation. If you want to download this project, then you can visit my Patreon. The link is in description. So let's start. First, I open the blender, select all, and delete everything. Press Shift A to add a cylinder. And here I increase the vertex up to 50. Beautiful. I also turn on the screen cost keys because you can see everything which I press. Beautiful. Enter into the edit mode of the cylinder and uh, press 3 for face selection and delete the upper face of this cylinder nice now back to the vertex mode by pressing 1 and press R to select all the above vertex and extrude along Z axis something like and also scale and extrude along Z axis something downward and also scale them. Beautiful. Nice. Now press 1 for face selection and uh, press 2 for edge selection mode and control R to add a loop cut and down the loop cut something like here beautiful now select all the below edges and press ctrl b to bevel this something like here and scroll the wheel to add the geometry beautiful now also select this vertex edge and uh, again ctrl b to bevel something like here beautiful back to the object mode and shade smooth nice and in modifier I add the subdivision modifier and here I press 2 in viewport and apply this modifier and I also add another modifier which is solidify and increase the thickness something like here beautiful nice and also apply this modifier now enter into the wireframe mode and press 1 for front view and enter into the edit mode and uh, press face selection and here I select these faces and also increase this beautiful and in mesh I separate this by selection and uh, here you can see this part is separate from the upper and uh, press shift D to duplicate and scale this something like here beautiful now again press this part and uh, press this and control J to join beautiful now select the inner cylinder and uh, enter into the edit mode of this and uh, press the vertex selection and here I select the vertex and uh, press shift to select the other vertex and alt to select
select the vertex and press F to fill beautiful back to the object mode nice and uh, now I want to add cubes which act like a uh, eyes press shift A to add a cube and uh, scale down something like here and uh, move this along Z axis and enter into the edit mode and press 2 for face selection and add the bevel by pressing Ctrl B something like here and back to the object mode and also make it shape smooth beautifully also rotate it nice and press shift D to add another cube and move something above and also rotate and add another cube and move it also above the second cube and rotate it beautiful now I apply rigid body properties to our system so first I select this jar and enter into the physics properties and here I assign the rigid body and uh, here I cannot animate this and select the passive type and here I select the mesh beautiful now I select our ice cubes and uh, I also apply this and I animate this and uh, I also select mesh for each cubes beautiful now enter into the wireframe mode and here I run the simulation beautiful our cubes are inside this jar at frame 60 so I bake this animation to frame 60 and here I reduce the number of frame up to 60 and uh, in the scene here is the rigid body word and here the end of the simulation I enter 60 and uh, bake this simulation beautiful now can see that our rigid body simulations is ready now I apply the fluid properties to our system so for that I select this jar and here I apply the fluid and uh, here is fluid properties and here I select the effector and also select the is planar beautiful and also one by one I apply the fluid properties here and also I select effector and select this and also effector and select the last cube and also effector beautiful now I select the inner cylinder which I made the fluid and an object here I select cube effect and cube liquid and here you can see that now I adjust our domain according to our scene and uh, also scale something like here and scale it along Z axis and uh, adjust it something like here I increase the resolution up to 64 to see the water clearly and uh, now I run the simulation and check the result beautiful here you can see that our cubes are interact with our liquid to create a splashing animation now I apply material to our system so for that I enter into the material viewport and uh, in fluid I press the mesh button here you can see clearly and uh, 
I open my asset browser and uh, here I select the materials and uh, here I select glass material I apply glass material to the jar beautiful and I select this and uh, hide this this is our glass material and uh, I apply some ice type material to our cubes and uh, here is the ice material in my asset browser and I apply the ice material to the cubes beautifully nice now I select my liquid and in material viewport I apply some material uh, like some cold drink type material after applying materials to our scene now we run the simulations and check so here you can see that our ice cube are nicely react with our fluid to create a nice splash animation in blenders thanks for watching